In this example, we're told that a 75 kilogram mass, that's our mass over here, is placed 20 centimeters from the fulcrum of a lever. So this distance here is 20 centimeters. A downward force, that's this force over here, is applied at the other end at a distance of 240 centimeters from the fulcrum. So this distance is 240 centimeters. And we're told first, find the mechanical advantage of the lever. Well, the mechanical advantage will be the ratio of these distances, the 240 and the 20. So I just do the math. 240 centimeters divided by 20 centimeters. And the centimeters, actually, the units cancel out. And we can cancel the zero as well. And we're left with 24 over 2, which is 12. This lever gives us a mechanical advantage of 12 because the force, the input force, is applied at a distance 12 times as large as the output force. And then we're told, find the downward force F required to raise the mass. Well, the weight of the mass that we have to lift, the force that gravity pulls down on the mass with, is mg. That's our formula for weight. It's always m times g. And we're told the mass is 75 kilograms, so its weight will be 75 kilograms times g. And g is 9.8 meters per second squared. And you pull out the calculator, 75 times 9.8, or work it out by hand. And you get 735 kilogram meters per second squared, or 735 newtons. That's the weight downward on the mass. That's how much force we would have to exert to lift the mass up if we were simply trying to lift it by hand without a lever. Because we have a lever that gives us a mechanical advantage of 12, we can lift it with one twelfth that much force. So the answer to part B is this number divided by 12. 735 newtons divided by 12, it ends up being 61.25 newtons. That's how much downward force we have to exert on the lever to get an output of 735 newtons upward. And then question C, if the force pushes the end of the lever down a distance of 1.5 meters, how high does the mass get lifted? Well, the lever has a mechanical advantage of 12, so the distance through which the output for force moves is only 1 12th of the distance of the input force. So if the input force moves through a distance of 1.5 meters, the output force, or the mass being lifted, is only going to be 1 twelfth of that. So we simply do 1.5 meters divided by 12. And that comes out to 0.125 meters. And if you want to, it might be a little more understandable to write it in centimeters, 12.5 centimeters. Either of these answers would be OK. They're mathematically equivalent. If you were told to give your answer in meters or centimeters, obviously you would pick one or the other.